Well, today I want to talk about a, um, my current project, which is an integrated circuit lightning sensor. And it uh, follows on from a series of um, projects, all based on DF robot um, electronic modules. Uh, and I purchased these at the same time that I purchased the McQueen Plus robot. So um, the lightning detector is um, quite an old invention. In fact, it was the first radio receiver. There are no radio transmitters out there like AM music radio stations, but um, the lightning did the, uh, create signals and they could be picked up by a uh, radio receiver. And it was Alexander Popov in St. Petersburg, Russia. And at the time, he was a teacher in a naval school. And even today, uh, um, the 7th of May is celebrated in Russia as a um, radio day to um, honour his invention. Now, he was a, a contemporary of... Um, Marconi, and he was an early pioneer of uh, radio. So um, there's his circuit. And uh, the front end uses a radio antenna, and there's, uh, it's tuned to uh, around about 500k, uh, the type of frequencies you would expect in the AM radio um, band. And uh, when lightning did strike, he was able to pick up the radio frequency and there was enough energy there to um, activate a, um, a bell and give you a warning. So um, the interesting thing was he was able to reset the whole thing after the uh, storm had passed. Uh, well, my project uh, uses a little bit of his circuitry, but there is been a lot more uh, innovations that have been added and the circuit that i'm using is the first that uses an integrated circuit uh, as the sensor for lightning so today's project i'm going to look at my objectives i'll describe the hardware um, i'll talk a little bit about the lightning patterns and what i'm measuring the software and some of the results so my objectives are to um, host everything um, and develop the software on a Sedino nano computer, show messages and counts of uh, lightning strikes, but also of interference that can come from disturbers like microwave ovens or fluorescent lights. And um, when I do get a lightning strike, I want to be able to um, estimate the distance to the storm front and the intensity or the energy um, estimate of that uh, lightning. I also want to explore the use of interrupts and how the Arduino IDE uses directives to um, uh, support interrupts. So for my hardware, I'm using a Sedino Nano, which is um, compatible with the Arduino nano computer. And I'm going to use the DF robot um, Grove Shield uh, for um, nano computers and the um, DF gravity lightning sensor. So um, here is how it's connected. The gravity lightning distance sensor is connected via two cables, one provides an interrupt when lightning occurs or when interference occurs, and it um, connects to port D2 on the uh, Sedino computer. The other cable is an I to C connection. And what I've shown here is just the uh, Grove shield for the um, uh, Sedino Nano. So we add a uh, Sedino Nano on top of that, and uh, that's our connections. A little bit more complicated in the actual sensor ch chip itself. And the really interesting thing is that there's a, um, a lightning algorithm that has three stages. And there's a, a lot of statistical work being done there to estimate 
uh, the parameters of the lightning and to exclude interference and noise. And um, just like pop-up circuit, the front end has a, um, a radio um, frequency um, com component using an inductor and capacitor. And in this case, it's uh, tuned to 500 kilohertz. And at the back end, after the processing, there's a microcomputer that's added. And this is where the uh, nano computer comes in. So here's the front end. And uh, the input, this is important to make sure that it's tuned um, uh, to that uh, frequency. It has a reasonably low bandwidth, narrow bandwidth, and the gain uh, of the signal can be adjusted for uh, indoors or uh, outdoors. The uh, lightning algorithm built into this chip goes through three stages. It first of all verifies that, that it's the correct type of lightning signal, it, and it then does an energy uh, calculation of the signal, and uh, finally estimates the uh, distance that that signal is away from you. And it tries to avoid signals that come from sources like this DC to DC converters uh, for, say, electric motors, and particularly if they're operating around about that frequency. And this is what I'm trying to measure. So it's um, at the front of the storm. So this diagram shows you um, as time goes by uh, a typical storm pattern. And um, the signal that I'm picking up is right at the edge of the, of the uh, storm. And it can measure up to about 40 kilometers away. So for the software, I'm using the Arduino IDE. And um, this is an example of some of the uh, software that I'm using. So um, I'm generating an interrupt. And when I do get an interrupt, I then use APIs uh, that come from the software library from DF Robot, and I then display those, uh, or I print them to the uh, USB serial comms. But I'm also um, preparing to uh, put this on a uh, LCD. So um, I've got an LCD that's also part of my hardware um, setup. After I do the distance, I then um, call the API for measuring energy. And I then put this both on the serial line and also display it on the LCD. So um, I can distinguish between the disruptors from DC motors and other sources of noise. And um, the bit of extra um, software that I generate or are responsible for, counts how many disruptions have occurred from these sources. And this is the outcome that I've got so far. So there hasn't been a thunderstorm recently. So um, I'll um, setting it up so that um, I'm confident that it will work during a uh, thunderstorm. And here are my references for the project. So there's um, a wiki Wikipedia article on lightning detection, which I highly recommend. And uh, the components that I've got come from DF Robot and from Seed Studio. This is the uh, DF Robot lightning sensor. And it's uh, measuring how far a lightning strike is away from me. It also measures the intensity of the lightning and the actual sensor is this device here and it's connected to um, a uh, CD node nano computer which is Arduino nanable, nano compatible and it's on the I to C port but it also has an additional connection so um, whenever there's lightning there's an interrupt to the uh, nano computer 
and uh, the yellow wire here connects to uh, port D2. So um, even a small electrical disturbance, such as switching on the light, can actually uh, cause a small count. But it does distinguish between a, um, a lightning strike and electrical interference or noise. So at the moment, it's uh, showing the result on a uh, RGB LCD and the disturbance at the moment from electrical noise or ele small electrical impulses is uh, three since I switched it on about uh, five minutes ago. But um, it's, if that was a real thunderstorm, the colour would change on the screen and it would uh, show the uh, lightning, how far away it is and the intensity of the lightning. And uh, the results are also shown on the uh, computer screen over here as there's a uh, serial connection uh, over USB to my Windows PC and the uh, Arduino IDE serial monitor is monitoring the behavior of this sensor.